Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and oh my god, are you guys as excited as I am right now? <sighs> I have been waiting to share this news with you guys and a few of you kind of guessed, but I am finally able to share my new collaboration palette with Sydney Grace Cosmetics. Ta-da! Here she is. This is the Tropicolor palette. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already have seen the inside and you've seen swatches. But in this video, we're gonna go more in depth and I am going to showcase her in all her glory. So let's go ahead and talk all about this new collaboration palette with Sydney Grace Cosmetics. So this is the Tropicolor palette, as I already mentioned, and the name is a play on the words tropical and color because I am a tropical girl at heart and I absolutely love playing in color. And I think this is a perfect merger of my colorful tastes with Sydney Grace's formulation and their more neutral approach to color. So let's go ahead and talk about the background of this palette. So I reached out to Sydney Grace Cosmetics because I was inspired by Mel Thompson. Rest in peace, Mel. We love you and we miss you so much. But Mel Thompson did a collaboration palette with Sydney Grace a couple of years ago and she mentioned that she reached out to them herself and asked to do the collaboration. And I was like, wow, I never thought of doing that. I'm going to take a page out of her book. So shout out to Mel. Mel was the one that started this whole process. So I love you girl. And again, I miss you so, so, so much. So I reached out to Sydney Grace. I already know and love Sydney Grace. They're one of the first indie brands that I truly fell in love with. And I have a pretty decent relationship with one of the owners, Heather. So they're two sisters that own the brand. It's Heather and Laura. They have a team behind them, a great team in fact. And I speak mainly with Heather, so I reached out. I was like, hey, Heather, would you consider doing a little sneaky collaboration with me? And she was on board like right away and I was like, oh my God, it's happening. So we started brainstorming about this palette and honestly, I already had this idea from the onset. I had this design and everything like in my head and already like I saved the picture of this design. This is my design, by the way. Oh my God. So if you don't like the design, don't tell me, okay? It would really hurt my feelings because this is truly my creation, all right? But truly, I wanted the design to reflect that this is a merger of my tastes and preferences with Sydney Grace's aesthetic. I love bold and colorful and they approach makeup with a more neutral or natural vibe. So I wanted it to reflect that. So the background is more muted pastel shades and we have a sunset motif with a palm tree that represents the tropics. Again, I grew up in Jamaica and even the font, I wanted this to be a fun play on two different styles. So we have the cursive in a metallic blue. It's reflective, it's beautiful. And then the word color is in a basic font with primary shades. And I think it all came together so, so well. On the back, you'll have the ingredient details. This is not vegan because there is carmine included in a couple of the shades, but it is completely eye safe because Sydney Grace does not use a non-eye safe pigment. So this is not a pigment palette. It is a true eyeshadow palette. All the eyeshadows 
are safe for use on the eyes. It contains 18 eyeshadows for a total weight of 27 grams, which is the equivalent of 0.95 ounces, which gives us a bit over 0.05 ounce per eyeshadow. So you're getting full size eyeshadows and it retails for $60, which I know is a little bit steep, but Sydney Grace is an indie brand, so they tend to have higher price points. And since it's a collaboration palette, you also have to take that into account. So it's a little bit pricey, so I understand if not everyone is willing or able to purchase the palette and add it to their collection, but if it is within your budget and you want to support this collaboration, I am pretty sure you will not be disappointed because the quality is 100% there and I can stand behind that 100% which is the reason that I was very happy to collaborate with Sydney Grace. All right now, I've given you all those details. How about we go ahead and dive into the color story and the shades inside. So the outer sleeve slides off and the design does follow through on the palette. You have all the information, all the details. I love this palette. I think it is so beautiful. And inside you have a mirror in the lid and the 18 shades. Oh my God. <sighs> so let me go ahead and show you this color story up close and personal. Again, this was inspired by the tropics and I wanted to lean into, again, Sydney Grace's aesthetic. So it's not a bold, bright neon palette as some people may have been expecting and that was deliberate. I wanted this palette to be a colorful palette that neutral lovers can still lean into. If you're afraid of color, which I know a lot of people are, I wanted this palette to be one that's a little bit more approachable. It has more muted colors. It has richer tones. So it's not going to be a neon palette that you're going to throw on for carnival. It's something that you can feel a little bit more comfortable with, especially with some of the neutral tones that are tossed in. So there are 18 shades in the palette. 10 of those shades are matte. There is one shade out of those 10 that has a slight sheen to it. So it's not one of those richly pigmented creamy mattes. It is a little bit more on the sheer satin side with a touch of sheen and there are eight beautiful shimmers. One of those shades is a little bit more on the flaky side but the other seven shades are that smooth shimmer formula that we have come to know and love from Sydney Grace. So in the top row we have six matte shades starting out with coconut. This is a muted ivory shade with a hint of a yellow undertone. This is the shade that's more on the satin side, so it has a hint of sheen to it. And I wanted it to be specifically that way so it could be used as an inner tear duct highlight or as a highlight shade under the brow. And it pairs really well with the rest of the shades if you wanted to use it to lighten up any of these other tones. And you can't get more tropical than coconuts, right? Next up we have Rum Raisin, which is an ice cream flavor that I know and love. And this is a medium tone tan brown shade. It leans more on the neutral side, but it has a lot of warmth to it. This works really well as a blend and transition shade on my skin tone, but you can also use it to pair with all the other neutrals in the palette. It's a great balancing, grounding shade. Followed by Sun Rays, which is self-explanatory. This one, I didn't want it to be too bold and too bright and in your face because yellows can be a little bit tricky. So I wanted this to be more of a muted marigold shade that you can use in sunset inspired looks. You can use it as a blend and transition shade and you can also use it as an all over the lid shade. Then we have palm trees, which you can't have the tropics without palm trees. This is such a beautiful grass green shade that is not too bold or too bright. So if you stay away from greens, I think this is the perfect green to incorporate in a look that adds a little oomph without being too overwhelming. Next up we have the shade Maroon, which actually has a dual meaning for me in this palette. Maroons in Jamaica descend from escaped slaves that went into the mountainous areas to get away from the slave masters and they lived and thrived in their freedom and they built community and we still have a rich history of Maroons in Jamaica. So I love that significance to the shade maroon, but also it represents my high school, Wilma's Girls, which there's a shade called Wilma's in here, 
but it represents my high school colors which were maroon and gold so I definitely wanted to have that shade in there because of the significance of the name and maroon is exactly as the name implies it's a maroon shade it's a deep rich burgundy color which can be used as a smoky liner it can be used to deepen up the outer V or it can be used in a smoky maroon eyeshadow look then we have the shade cocoa beans I was gonna call it coffee beans because we are known for a blue mountain peak coffee but cocoa beans are what I'm more familiar with I grew up around cocoa beans and we would make chocolate tea from it so cocoa beans is a rich like espresso dark brown and it borders on black some people might see it and think it's a black it's not it's a blackened brown shade again you can use it to smoke out your looks you can use it as a eyeliner and you can use it all over the lids for a rich smoky eye okay we started out with the base matte shades and the top row for blending transition highlight and deepening up your looks let's move on to the second row which has some fun shades starting off with lignum vitae which is our national flower in Jamaica this shade is not the shade of the flower, but it's pretty close. This is a beautiful duochrome purple with blue reflect, and this is such a stunning shade. It is going to look so great in so many looks. You can use it all over the lid. You can use it as an inner tear duct highlight. You can use it on the center of the lid. It is such a pretty shade and I love this as a colorful tone that's not too overwhelming and I think a lot of people are going to fall in love with this shade. It's smooth, it's buttery, it is phenomenal. Then we have the shade Blue Maho, okay? This is our national tree in Jamaica and it is used in a lot of our sculptures and also in furniture making. I went back and forth with this shade. I wasn't sure I wanted to include it, but then I got it and swatched it and I fell in love. It is a very pale periwinkle matte shade. It borders on pastel periwinkle if there's such a thing, but it's very light. And this shade is so beautiful on the inner tear duct. Ah, if you guys know that trend where you just pop a pastel shade on the inner tear duct, this shade is perfect for that. And you can apply it all over the lids as well to give you that beautiful like springtime light pastel vibe. Moving on, we have the shade Dr. Bird, which is our national bird. I know, you see how I'm leaning into the national treasures in Jamaica? This shade was a little bit tricky because I wanted it to be a multi-chrome type shade, but those can get expensive and flaky. So I give full credit to Heather for helping me create this shade. It is so interesting. So in different lights, it reflects blue and a light purple. And then it can also flash a little bit of orange and a bit of pink. It is a very interesting shade. This shade is the flakiest of all the shimmers. I recommend that you apply this with a finger or a dense brush. This is the one that will have the most fallout. But it is so stunning and it is the special shade in the palette. It can be used as a topper shade because it's not going to pack a lot of punch right away. It's not a true multi-chrome, but it's such an interesting shade that has different tones to it. So it reflects differently in different lights and it's more on the sheer side. So you can apply it all over the lid for really beautiful effect. Use it as a topper and you can also apply it damp for a more smooth metallic effect. Then we have the shade Cane Feels. Oh my God. When I got this shade, I just about fell out of my chair. This is a beautiful shimmery teal green. It's not 100% green. It has a little bit of teal to it. So you'll see it reflects a little bit of blue. And arcane feels are something that we're well known for in Jamaica. And again, something I grew up with. And this shade is so stunning and then we have the shade Woolmers which is an ode to my high school in Jamaica Woolmers girls and look oh my god <laughs> this is the uniform I wore to school 
it was a little bit like a maternity dress I'm not gonna lie we used to get teased about it but that color represents my uniform now you guys know why I love sky blue so much but I wanted to include a sky blue shade. it's one of my favorite shades to incorporate now you may think this is a little bit close to blue maho but blue maho is more of a periwinkle so it has a more purple lean in tone to it while Wilmer's is a true light blue and I love the shade it's really pigmented it's really smooth absolutely love it and I mean come on that's my high school then we have another matte shade this is Negril it is a deep navy blue shade and navy blue is just one of those colors that I feel like anyone can lean into you if you're afraid of color if you're afraid of blue navy blue is a great way to lean into color without going too far you can use it to deepen up an outer V and add that pop of color without feeling like you're diving head first into color and this deep blue can work with the teals and the blues in this palette and it may seem like there are tons of blues. Someone mentioned that and I'm like, actually, there are not a lot of blues. I mean, there's some, but there are more green teals and blues mixed in rather than all blue shades. All right, moving on to the third row. We have the shade Tropical Punch, which I don't have to even explain. It's a tropical punch, all right? And this is a pink for all my pink lovers out there. I wasn't just thinking of myself. I was thinking about other people using this palette and looking for a fun pop of color. This time around, I wanted to include this beautiful raspberry pink that again will help lean into color without going quite overboard. And it's more on the rich side. So it's not a light pastel pink. I think this pink is very approachable. It's very rich. It's very smooth. It looks glorious on the lids. And then we have waterfalls, which of course we have waterfalls in Jamaica. And this blue, come on, this blue, uh, it is a blue of my dreams. This is probably one of the colors that people are going to be a little bit nervous about because it is a true bright shimmery ocean blue and I am so in love with it. But you can use this color on the lower lash line for a pop of color. And that's how I want people to look at this palette. It has neutrals in it. You can create a neutral look like I'm wearing right now with a pop of color. You can use colors on the outer V to amp up a look, but still not go overboard. So I want this palette, again, to be your step into the colorful zone. Next, we have rainforest. Did you guys know that we have rainforests in Jamaica? Yes, we do. Our climate is so versatile. I absolutely love it. So Rainforest is another beautiful, bright, blue teal shade. <sighs> this leans more on the teal turquoise side rather than on the green side like cane feels. And it is so stunning. Oh my God. It reminds me of the Blue Lagoon in Jamaica that I went to. It's so reflective and stunning. Again, it makes a beautiful shade all over the lid. But again, you can use it on the lower lash line. Now let's move into some of the more neutral tones. We have Helsha, which you might want to pronounce as Hellshire, but it's Helsha. It's a, be well, that's how I pronounce it. Helsha. <laughs> Helsha. We're going to Helsha. It's a beach in Jamaica in the area that I grew up. So I grew up in St. Catherine, Spanish Town specifically, and Helsha was our closest beach. So I would go there all the time and they have the best fry fish and festival. You don't even go there to swim anymore because the beach has since eroded due to hurricanes. But listen, if you want to prop a fry fish, all right, and festival, got to Elsha Beach, okay? And Helsha is just a part of my childhood from I was growing up as a little girl to being a teenager and going to parties there Oh my God, it's stuck in my head. But this is a more neutral tone. It is a beautiful shimmery tan shade with a little bit of warmth to it. So it's more on the almost like orangey gold side. And it looks stunning all over the lid as a one and done shade. And I wanted to incorporate that color for you neutral lovers to add to your looks, to incorporate with the colorful shades, to ground certain looks. And I think it is such a fantastic shade. 
This is the buttery tan of my dreams. Next to that, we have another matte. This is Milk River. Milk River is a river that we have in Jamaica. I used to go to Milk River Bath, okay, which was a natural spring. So this does actually reflect the name of the shade, but I wanted to include a muted tangerine orange as well because I love a sunset look. And what do you need for a sunset? A yellow and an orange and I have both in the palette. And this works so great as a transition shade. It works well to blend out the crease, but it also works as an all over shade because it's just a one and done orange shade. And it's not too bold and in your face like a big bird orange. And I know big bird orange doesn't make sense, but you know his beak, that bright orange, it's not that kind of neon shade because again, we're going for more subdued shades. And this orange is so spectacular to blend in your crease, which is what I have in my crease line right now and then the final shade is another ice cream flavor from Jamaica grape nuts okay everybody know about grape nuts ice cream okay this is another neutral and this leans more on the taupey side and it has a hint of like an olivey tone so it's more of like a tarnished bronze it is stunning it is deeper and richer than Hellsher which you'll see the difference in the tones. Helsha is more of a orangey tone, while Grape Nut is more on the old gold bronze side. So there you have it. Here are all the shades swatched out. And again, it's a colorful palette, but it's not a bright neon palette because again, it fits into the aesthetic of Sydney Grace as well as my more colorful side. And I think this palette is so stunning, so beautiful. And another thing that I wanted to make sure is that it would pair beautifully with my other collaboration palette that is no longer available, but I know a lot of you got your hands on it. So if you have that palette, there are no crossover shades, okay? None of the shades are crossovers, but they pair beautifully together because I have deeper blending shades in that palette as well as bold colorful tones and this palette will tie in so well with that. So there you have it guys. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts below. Again, this is releasing September 1st, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. That is next week, Thursday, so set your alarms. Be on the lookout. It will retail for $60. Again, I know that's a little bit pricey, but I truly appreciate if you support this collaboration. If you like the palette, please let me know. If you don't like it or if it's not your taste, I completely understand this is not going to be for everyone, but I'm telling you right now, if you're afraid of color, you aren't the biggest fan of color, this palette will kind of tiptoe you into color without throwing you in head first because the colors are more subdued and more approachable. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention this. These are all magnetic pens. So you can pop them out the palette like so. This is just a magnetic pen. You can pop them out, rearrange them as needed. If you have other single shades that you wanna pop in place, you can do that as well. And I mean, the palette is absolutely stunning to walk around with. And it's a really high quality, sturdy palette. So you can definitely travel with it as well. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys are excited. Again, I will leave all the details down below in the description box. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Sydney Grace's Instagram so you can check them out. And I'm not sure, maybe discount codes are applicable. I don't know, but I'll leave my discount code below. It's the Fancy Face 15 for 15% 15 off. I'm not sure it's going to work on this palette, but you can get 15% off your purchase at sydneygracecode.com. I will leave the link down below. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter, which I already mentioned, right? I'm going to leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along. But I am so excited, guys, and I hope you're excited as well. And stay tuned for tons of looks. This was a little rush, not gonna lie, okay, because there was a little bit of a leak, so we had to kind of push the reveal really quickly. <sighs> this happens when PR products go out and people don't realize that you didn't quite unveil it yet, 
but I'm going to be working on various different looks as I did last time and you're gonna see this palette incorporated quite a bit and don't worry there's lots to go around so it's not gonna sell out right away but definitely make sure you try to get your hands on it but if you do have to like wait a little bit add it to your budget it will still be available and I'm going to show you how to use this palette to get simple eye looks that are still eye-catching so again thank you guys so much for the support because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be able to have this collaboration and i hope you guys like it i'll talk to you soon bye guys